put this crap out there? All right, maybe it was me, but we'll talk about this in just a second. There are some points that I'm making in this video, but I think a little clarification uh, might be in order. Happy Global James Bond Day, one and all. And uh, why am I wearing the mask? Is it just to hide the fact that I uh, put this video out there? Actually, this is one of the items available on my Teespring store. And I really wanted to say thank you to all the guys who bought t-shirts from the store. Were real cool. They sent me pictures. How cool is this? What better way to show your fandom, your James Bond pride, especially on Global James Bond Day? Uh, and I gotta tell you, the mask is actually pretty nice and soft. I finally just got, I, I just ordered one for myself and uh, it actually works pretty nice and it feels good. Uh, real quick, I also wanna say thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys, especially now more than ever. Really means a lot, I say that all the time. But uh, boy, especially as, as the days get weirder and weirder, you know, it, it's good to know that you guys are out there um, pitching in and helping out to keep the content flowing. So thank you guys. What's with this video? So yeah, I posted this uh, over the weekend. It got a lot of hits, a lot of comments, which probably more than anything I've ever done um, on Instagram anyway. And it's, you know, again, because it's funny and I, I think it sort of, I, I think it helps to show how fans are feeling. Uh, I, I did, I just, just posted the first part, uh, the, the disgruntled James Bond fans who have been duped once before. And again, I think the point is pretty obvious that it's, it's not so much that we were shocked that they postponed the film. We all sort of expected them to postpone the film. I don't think anybody was surprised at all. The only reason we were kind of surprised is that we had this marketing blitz and, and I, I kind of feel like that whole looking over. Not, I'm not trying to, not falling for it, not falling for it, not falling for it. And as soon as we kind of were like, maybe we really are getting a film. I think they're serious. I think we're getting a film in November. That's exactly when they tell us they're postponing it. Um, so again, it's, and and I, and I by the way, it's also been pointed out to me that, that to, to point the finger at Eon in this video is not quite fair, which I agree with. It, it's, it's not a, it's not a hundred percent accurate not meant to be it's just a meme um and it's not 100 percent fair uh mgm is really i from what i understand they're the ones in charge of whether or not to postpone they're the distributors and they're going to decide when to distribute the film uh so i'm sure eon has has a strong input i have no idea which way they were headed with this but again i think we all kind of we all saw it coming the, the weirdness, again, is is the marketing blitz that happened leading up to this. And, and one example I have is the podcast. Now, if, you, if you're subscribed to the podcast, you probably saw right after the announcement that there was a podcast put out saying, basically just sort of reading off the, um, the statement from Eon, which was handled much better, by the way. They, 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 they weren't thrilled to, to, to move the date. I think they handled it much better this time. And they said, we understand it's going to be disappointing to fans, but it is what it is. And that's perfectly fair. Uh, well done. Well done, guys. So, again, I, I think that, you know, it, it's a little more fair to point the finger at MGM possibly. But, again, the weird part is, like I mentioned with the podcast, if they're able to roll that quickly and put out a podcast saying the film is postponed, then obviously they could have done this quicker. They, they could have told whoever... Hey, don't post that first podcast just yet because it's not looking so good, or we're just not sure. Again, I, I, I it's just weird to me, and, and and like I said, and I think that's how fans are feeling. Like I don't get it. I, I don't get why no one seemed to know at the beginning of the week even that this thing was going to get postponed when most of the world anticipated it. Um. All right. So there's that. Like I said, I poked a little fun at Eon and 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 said you, you had you, you were you were just as you were luring us in, just as you were trying to tempt us, and just as we let our guard down. There you go. All right. That's part of it. Uh. This. Then I added something, as you saw with this today, at the opening of this video. I kind of it, it was too easy and too obvious not to do. Uh. Articles started showing up talking about how the theaters were now regal cinemas is are they're going to shut down they're going to close until 2021 uh and the theater chains are furious and they're blaming james bond uh is that fair um well i, th I think 80 percent of us 
you know, are feeling like that's not fair. You can't pin this on James Bond. I mean, we, we're in this, you know, in this mess. How many other film franchises have postponed their films? Um, you know, the, the reporting is fair. Um, for films to be disappointed, for, for, for theater chains to be disappointed, I think is, is perfectly fair. Um, I mean, there were articles just in the prior week saying that they're counting on James Bond to, to rescue cinema. The James, the, the No Time to Die is going to be the movie. And it was. I mean, you know, once the, everything else got pushed forward, No Time to Die was the next one ready to go. And they pulled out. And again, I don't know who makes the ultimate decision. I, I think it's MGM. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a collaborative thing. I don't know. Um, so, again... But is it fair now to to point fingers at at Bond? No, I mean I don't think so either. Like I said, and, and again, this is this is not a commentary on COVID. As I've said before, I've sort of learned my lesson with that. The bottom line is the is is it's probably not the best time to put this film out. Again, we all kind of knew this. So, you know, as hopeful as theater chains were, um, again, they should have kind of saw that this is a uh, very strong possibility that the that the film would be postponed again. Um, so yeah, so I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm here to kind of defend James Bond and say, hey, yo, it's not his fault. Look, we're all in this situation. I I, I know we all want to get this thing done and, and move forward and get things back to normal, but it kind of is what it is at this point. Um, and that's it. And I kind of feel like it's Global James Bond Day, so yeah, let's talk about the current events, and that is the current events um, today. <clears throat> the Bond Experience. Check it out. Global James Bond Day will be celebrated 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, check out David's YouTube channel, The Bond Experience, for a little uh, gathering of, of uh, people in the Bond community to talk about James Bond and uh, what's going on in the world and to, of course, have cocktails. And yours truly will have an impressive cocktail this time. I don't think it's a day for, it's not a day for a beer, it's not a day for a glass of wine. I got to have a respectable cocktail today. So I will make sure I eat something before we meet up and um, we can enjoy the day. So again, happy global James Bond day. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in as always. Thank you for being here. Uh, I just hit the 5,000 subscriber mark on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, still, still paling in comparison to a couple of uh, uh, YouTube Bond YouTubers, uh, but not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. So, again, happy Global James Bond Day. I will see you in a matter of hours. Have a great day. Have a great Global James Bond Day. Talk to you soon.